Hey guys, just thought I'd do a quick unboxing and review here of my latest pickup. It's the uh, Fujifilm XP140. Fuji's latest uh, waterproof, dustproof, shockproof camera. Just a little bit of background on uh, my thought process for buying this camera. Um, normally when I'm out shooting professionally, I'm on a job. I'll usually be carrying my uh, Nikon D610. It's a full-frame Nikon, it's a workhorse, and I've been using it for years, and it's been a really good camera. So I'll either be using that, or in certain situations, I might also be using my Fujifilm X100T. So I was going to take a vacation recently, and my first inclination was to perhaps buy an underwater housing for my Nikon. But after doing a bit of pricing, I found, you know, they can, you know, to get an underwater rig for your Nikon, you're looking at, you know, anywhere from $1,500 to $5,000, depending on the kind you get. And uh, considering I was only going to be using it, you know, maybe once or twice a year, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense from an economic point of view. So I decided to go for the next best thing, uh, something more cost effective. And after uh, doing a little bit of research, I uh, decided on the Fujifilm XP140. Wall adapter is the wall adapter itself, and you just plug the USB cord right into it. And finally, the camera itself. Very nice. Now there's a safety latch, so you open that up, and that therein, that's where you put your battery, your SD card. You just match up the yellow strip on the battery with the yellow, with the sorry, orange, with the orange little tap there, and that should just slide right in. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the fourth uh, camera in the XP line. I think they started with the XP90, and after that, I think I went to the 120, the 130, and now here we have with the 140. Now, as you can see, I opted for the yellow camera, but this is uh, this camera is available in a couple different colors, quite a few actually. You can get it in yellow, blue, white. It's a kind of a gunmetal gray on black, I think is another color, and, and the final color I think is a green. I opted for the yellow for the simple reason is I figured if I drop it by mistake, then, uh, you know, if it's, on, if, it's on the, if it's on the bottom, it would probably be easier for me to see. That's So that's the only real reason why I chose yellow. Okay, so one of the biggest upgrades this year to the uh, XP140 is the addition of 4K video. Now, for my purposes, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be shooting in 4K video It's because at 4K it's only shooting at 15 frames per second. So I just, I prefer the 1080, the high def, and uh, for me in the subject matter, I'm going to be shooting underwater. I think it's, it's what I prefer, and I personally think it looks better, but to each their own. Oh, 
Okay, so here we are in um, Barbados. And uh, what I think I'm going to do from here on is I'm just going to show you a lot of the, the video and some of the stills that I shot with the camera. Not too much talk, and it'll just give you an idea of what this camera can do.
as you can see, in addition to being really good at underwater uh, filming, it also takes a pretty great image above water as well. The image quality is excellent. Comes with a uh, five times zoom. And I'm going to show you an example of how what it looks like when you're shooting wide. This is halfway and there's five times telephoto. As you can see, the image quality is pretty pretty good. In fact, it's excellent even at full telephoto. Of course, like any telephoto lens, even if you have image stabilization, which this camera does, not all the image stabilization in the world is going to render a great image if you've got camera shake. So if you're not a steady, you don't have a steady hand, I would still recommend if you can, you know, maybe using a monopod or a tripod or even just sticking it on a rock when you're shooting te telephoto because you can get some image blur. Uh, fortunately, I have a pretty steady hand, so I think these actually turned out pretty good. Okay, now this next part is really just my opinion. That's something I, I, I did every day after shooting with the camera. Um, because, you know, you're going to be using this camera outdoors at the beach, maybe in your bag. Uh, you know, it's going to get covered with, uh, with, with dirt, maybe suntan lotion. And you really want to make sure the, uh, the camera is clean at the end of the day. So what I would recommend, again... I don't know if, if this is recommended, but it works for me. At the end of the day, I use a mild soap and I wash off the camera. This makes sure any of the grease, suntan, lotion, sand is not on the camera because it's, it's really important. If you open the, the door to remove your SD card or your battery and you insert it back in and so much as one speck of sand gets in that door, well, that's it. That's the end of your camera. The first time you submerge it, water is going to come in, going to get in, and that's basically going to be the end of it. So you want to be careful. You want to keep the camera nice and clean uh, when you put it away. So this is just something I do. Again, I teach you. You'll, you'll figure out your own way as, as you go along. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that the uh, FinePix XP140 offers you pretty much everything you could want in a affordable portable walk around type camera. Uh, the image quality is excellent, the resolution is excellent both above water and below the water. The image quality for the video is excellent and it gives you many different options with which to shoot your video at and at a price point of about $240 you absolutely cannot go wrong with this camera so I'm very happy I bought it and um, yeah I'm going to be using it for years to come. So that's it. For the rest of the video, I'll just show you a little bit more footage that I shot. And uh, if you liked the video, leave a comment and see you next time.